Hi, this is Jeff Gage from Green Mountain Technologies. We have some troubleshooting questions that have come in. How do you keep your piles from stinking? My pile, it stinks, what do I do? Well, number one, you get in your pile enough bulking agent, materials that allow in these tight little wads of stuff to have structure and form inside. Once you do that, these little pockets of bad smell that are going anaerobic will have an ability to get air moving through them. So number one, mix it, add a little bit of drier material and something with a little bit of carbon, like sawdust, like uh, well, if you want to buy peat moss, you could put peat moss in. Something with structure that allows that to, to get air into it. The next thing we do is we try to make sure there's a balance of the right carbon and nitrogen in a pile. We talked a little bit about that. The carbon is the pasta and the nitrogen is the sauce. You don't want too much sauce or too much carbon. You want to get the right mix. So we're going to think about what we put in that pile and what else might need to go in it. If you're just putting food waste in, things are pretty rich in, in sauce and not enough pasta. You want to find some shredded paper. You want to put in some uh, leaves. You want to put in some ground up twigs and, and anything you can find that is actually going to have a lot of carbon in it to match that out. Porosity, carbon nitrogen ratio, and the very last thing is oxygen. You want to make sure there's enough oxygen flow through the pile. How do we do this? We use our nose. Once you get the porosity right and the mix right, if it smells bad, you need more oxygen. You might have to put some light fluffy stuff underneath your pile and so that air can come up and it'll go up with the temperature up through there. If the temperatures are also low at the very beginning stages of your compost, pH might be a problem. So the last thing we look at, does it smell sour or does it smell, you know, like a normal pile. Smells sour, you want to put a little lime in that load. Um, I would say about 1% by weight of any of the rich, stinky food waste that you might put in. So buy yourself a 50 pound sack of agricultural lime, it's calcium carbonate, sprinkle some in, and that'll help keep the pH in the right range so you don't get that sour, silage-like smell. That's how we troubleshoot odors, that's what we do to manage them. Get more air in, that's almost always the right solution. This is Jeff, Green Mountain Technologies. See you soon.